Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Kat here. So today I am going to be showing you that much anticipated room tour. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and get started. This is probably going to be divided between two videos because there's a lot to show. I'm sure you guys want to see in depth, you want to see every drawer, every box that I have. So let's just go ahead and dive in. Here is a span again. This is my master bedroom. I've mentioned that in the past. So Mr. Woofy is so kind to just tolerate all this until we get a second bedroom. But it works out because the bedroom's pretty big. So I did have to get um, some matching covers for our bed so that it coordinates with the room and not clash. He would prefer black or gray or blue, like dark blue. But yeah, that wouldn't go. <laughs> so he tolerates a pink bed. It's not pink, it's like a coral peach. Um, so yeah, so that's basically our room here, giving you a little span. And we're gonna go over everything. Here is the closet and the door. Okay, so over here I have this awesome media drawer set that I got from someone on OfferUp. And it was really cool because I think I spent, no, actually it was free. It was free and then um, we painted it to match the room. And it was actually meant for CDs or Blu-rays. I think CDs, I think it was like a CD holder. So it works out really great to have just a lot of my tools and sewing things on there. And then this one up here for where the stamps are, I got that at Goodwill and I painted it and it displays my stamps really well. And then this behemoth of a drawer, which is kind of like a giant Alex drawer. This is from Ikea. Um, I got this from OfferUp as well for $30. And it originally retails for, I want to say a thousand or something crazy. But it was covered in stickers and I removed all the stickers. So that was an awesome, awesome find. Super happy about that. We'll go over all those drawers. These ones, um, these are also from Ikea. They're the little um, cubbies. And those ones I paid $5 each, also on OfferUp. Yeah, I find really good deals, guys. And we went ahead and painted them. They were black before, and we painted them. And I got the little, the little square fabric squares from Target from the um, Pillow Fort brand. So like, you know, like the kid brand. So I think they're really cute and they match perfectly on there. And then I got the Ikea desk. I did pay full price. Um, that's the only one that we went to go purchase at Ikea. And it was so fun. Actually, fun, funny story. That was the very first time and the last time we've gone to Ikea. But I do want to go back. It's such a fun place. It's so magical. So I got the extra long desk, which is perfect. And then I got a few different things down here, which we will go over. And then I got all my toys, of course corkboard for my pins and then the little rascog cart actually that one's from michael's um so that one mr woofy got for me and it matches the room as well then that basket i believe is also from target pillow fort brand and i have all my wrapping paper in there so let's just go ahead and get started okay guys so we're going to start with this media bookshelf first so like i mentioned up here i have all my stamps except for like holiday so christmas and halloween are in a box which you will see later on but i have my most used the stamps that make me really happy to see um so they're all displayed here really nicely and then i have some old books over here that help display the stamps and i love that look um, over here I have this one I got from Target like a year ago and it has just some more toys some zoom zooms and then I have this really cute banner that my friend April from April Olander designs that she sent me and I love it so it goes really well there and then I have a um, this frame right here that my friend Letty made from 100 pineapples on Instagram it's so cute I love the colors I love the kitty so it's a little shadow box and then April also made that dream catcher and then I made this dream catcher that I never finished a video I kind of deleted it already because I was over it um, but I have it here this little uh, Mickey dream catcher um, so let's just look through these little cubbies or these little um, bookshelves 
So here I have some um, bunny glitter paste that I got from Tuesday morning and I just had them displayed here. I have this magnetic paint from also that I got from Tuesday morning, Bow Bunny. And then I have my embossing powders from Recollection and some like embossing pens, my glossy accents over here. And then in this drawer, I have some stickles and some liquid pearls and distress sprays and then some um, sequins in here. This drawer, I have some Halloween sequin mixes in there and these I got from Ikea. So those work out really well. And then in here, I just have like the spoons for my sequins and then this really awesome, sorry about the glare, really awesome Batman um, print and then Wonder Woman. And then some trays in there because I have a huge collection of trays. <laughs> some of my favorite boxes that I've kept. Spray paints down here. And then some more paints down there and a doll um, display stand. And then in this drawer here, I have more sequins. So these are all like sequin mixes. And more sequins that were gifted to me and all these little bottles here. And then I have a shadow box at Solange from um, Handmade by Soso -So that she made and I have it displayed here. This is a vintage um, uh, fairy godmother. And then this was gifted to me by my friend Luann. Then I have another shadow box over here and I'm sorry I forget, I think, no I forget who sent that to me and I apologize. And then I have this awesome little unicorn holding all my Tombow markers. I made this little llama, it took me a long time. <laughs> and then I have some wax seals over here, some wax sticks, and this really fun guy. I love toys, guys, if you don't know that already. And then I have some washi here in a Ray Dunn tray that my friend Shelly gifted to me. And then these ones here just have like all my doll making items. And then more sewing items in those little jars. I have my Instax there, another jar with sewing items, and then I have some paper straws and some blackboard markers in that Sally cup. And then here is uh, Doctor Strange, and then I have some um, like more glitter items in here, so Glitterific and Zazz, and then I have my punches right here, so I have some Martha Stewart ones, and these are just the ones. Um, that I do use. I got rid of whatever I didn't need anymore. So that is this drawer. Okay, so now we're just gonna go over this top section first and then we'll go into the drawer. So up here I have some this washi storage that I got from Michaels. And I don't I got rid of a lot of washi, so I only kept a few. Um, and this is actually not all of it. I have some more displayed throughout the room. But here I have all my Halloween washi that I've kept and then I need to dust this it looks dirty <laughs> I have some like more summery skinny washies and then some Christmas up here and then this top section I like this because you can pull it out um, I have glitter summer tropical I have some like foodie washi up here so that's what's in this drawer and I love mint, guys. <laughs> I love the color mint, so this little bear is so cute. Um, and then I have this tassel banner that I got from Target. And I just put a bunch of things that friends have made. And then those little girls, like that little cat, is from Target as well. So just a bunch of handmade goodies that friends have made, like unicorn items, really cute items, are placed up here. Like that one right there with the watermelon, Ada made from the Paper Treasury. And just a bunch of cute little goodies here. I think the bear is hiding some. And then my friend um, Vero from Lulu's Trunk gifted me that cute cat card, like a little piñata, and it's so cute. And then uh, my friend um, Athy made this banner up here, which is super cute. And then my friend Michelle gifted me that canvas of the cat. And then I have this really cute unicorn cat and then i have another little thing over here that that's from target think happy thoughts and this one was from target as well the little swan bust okay 
and let's see going what's up uh, up here I have this one from home goods this was during um, their Christmas stuff early actually I got this probably in August and I just want to want to display it all year long it's really cute and it goes with the colors of my room I have that little washi house that I got from Target like a year ago and it has a bunch of washi in there some of my favorites and then I got these little cups from TJ Maxx and I got them like in October so I think they're really cute I love the colors I love their faces some people call them vampires I think they're monsters <laughs> monster vampires um, and just a bunch of different things in here so I have straws and um, well not straws I have like um, confetti and pencils and stuff to make rosettes these ones also used to carry confetti and these would be fun to make um, some rosettes with as well some pencils and uh, highlighters here are my most used tools I got these little containers also at TJ Maxx and I think they're really cute so most used tools are in there and then I have more paper straws and that one back there I have my sequence container we'll pull that down and then in here I have most of my Maggie Holmes items well actually I have more but I have some of it displayed in this one that I got sorry I'm moving the camera here um, I think I got that one at TJ Maxx as well same with this little cat container and in there I have some of my items for my um, Cricut Air Explore Air 2 and then I have another mug and in there I have brushes and some um, wooden rods and then I got this one at the 99 cent store and I think it's fun to display all year long and that is the top of this drawer we'll pull that sequence down so you guys can see it so this is that sequence container that I was showing you that was on top and I got this from the 99 cent store I think it comes with three sections but I bought two so I gave it another section and what I ended up doing with this it, I love that it stacks um, what I did with this is I glued the compartment. So this one isn't glued because there's no sequence in here. They're all like in containers. Um, but I just have like random ones in there. So let me close this so I can show you what I did. I put hot glue around the edges so that the compartments wouldn't move and um, the sequence wouldn't just fall through the edges and it would all get mixed up. So here we go. So here I have all my pink sequins, and it's hard to tell, but you can see the hot glue right there. So it's got hot glue all around the edges, and that just keeps it in there. I think it's an awesome way to display my sequins. Most of my sequins I've gotten from um, AliExpress and Cartwright sequins, and I'll show you every section here. So that was pink. Here I have some white and yellow, so like iridescent ones. And I don't think the compartments go all the way to the top, so I have to be careful not to shake it. So it's not like the perfect ideal thing, but it works for me. And then I have some like greens and whites in there as well. And then the last one I think has blue and purple, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so blues and purples and then some green stars and that's that container. So let's move on to this first half and we'll start with this top drawer. So, and I'm going to get on my bed here so I'm sorry if I shake you guys a little bit. Okay, so in this section, and this kind of shook out here, um, here are some handmade embellishments from all my pen pals and my friends so I put them in this box and that way I could just pull it out and it makes it easy I would love to use these and incorporate them in some swaps that I um, that I have or happy mail so that's in there in this box I have all like note cards or you know greeting cards etc um, in here thank you cards so when I start selling dolls again I have this ready to go pull them out I could write a quick thank you card and then I have some Maggie Holmes um, from her Willow Lane collection embellishments that I made. I want to shoot a video for you guys for that. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen them. And then here I have some plain white cards. 
and you know for card making and then some um, paper pads for like you know Copic coloring, stamping, watercoloring, etc. in there. So that is that top section. In this section, I have my my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine in here, easy to pull it out. It's really heavy, but I can just pull it out. Um, and this is great to take to crops because it's um, small and convenient. I love that it folds up in this little bag I got from Michael's. So it's very sturdy and it carries it. And that's the only thing that I usually put in there. Maybe my dies or tools that I need. In here, I have all my markers. So um, I have Copic markers. So I have this just little container that my friend gifted to me. I have my Copic markers and then some other brand markers in here. And in this container, I have all my basically card making items. And let me pull this out so I can show you. Okay, so the container I got from Michaels, always great to get it while they have like all their organization stuff on sale. And in the top here, I have um, some distress inks and I have just like the applicators and then some Copic Chow markers, some um, ink pads. So I have like my Versamark ink and stays on. And then in this section, I just have um, a large ink pad, a stamping block, and then just like all my kind of like clean stamps in here. So that's what's in there. And I recently got rid of a lot of stuff. So it just, you know, it makes it easier to use the items that I do have and not just hoard onto items. And of course the color is mint because like I said, that is my favorite color. Mint and coral are my favorite colors. Okay, so this is the third drawer. Oh, <laughs> never mind. This is the third drawer. And then in here, I have like all my Christmas items and it's nice and organized. So I have like larger um, embellishment items and handmade embellishments. And then I have like more little items in this box, which is super cute. And I have like my chipboard and paper pads for Christmas and snow so just basically all my christmas items fit in here really really nicely and then i pulled out like my uh, valentine stuff and this is what i currently have and not too bad and then just some spring items so like easter this is all i have and i put it in this section so i guess you could call this my holiday drawer and then in the fourth drawer here i have like all my journaling items so or like um what's it called, planner items. So, you know, I have some planner clips, stickers, um, a planner, this fell out, <laughs> um, watercolor items. Here is the planner I'm using this year I got at TJ Maxx. This envelope has a bunch of kawaii planner items or like stickies or whatever. This is my Bible journaling one that I use. So like art journaling, art journaling and my Bible. I have my Tim Holtz um, step platform, the smaller one, and then some colored pencils. So yeah, so that is my like art journal planning drawer. And then in this drawer, I have kind of disorganized a little bit, but it's just basically um, like bags for happy mail or gifts in here some Sephora bags that I'd want to alter, just cover the Sephora part. And I think the black and white is really cute, really nice bags. So that's in there. And then this bottom section has my Halloween stuff. So I would like to look through this, but for now it's in there, all my Halloween items. Most of them actually, cause I have a whole nother box. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'll just keep going and show you guys this entire drawer and then cut the video there. So um, in this top drawer here, I'm sorry, I'm going to move you guys a little bit because I can't get on my bed for this part. I have all my alphas and like chip um, thickers in here. So those are all in there. And this is some stuff for a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. I have some Project Life cards in there and then my sequence. So I have more sequins in there besides the ones that you guys had seen. So more little sequins that didn't fit. 
these are boxes that my friend Faithy made for me, which I owe happy mail to. And she's been so, um, so patient with me. And you guys know why if you saw my last video. Um, so this is from Faithy. Thank you so much, girly. I love everything. And you will be getting a happy mail response from me very soon. And then in this drawer here, I have all my dies, which I'm not done organizing this. I'm waiting for those, um, those like metal or like magnetic sheets to go in here. I got this from Michaels. So it just has all my dies in there and it fits really well in here. I have some larger dies that won't fit in there. So these larger ones, this is the pom pom maker. And this box here, I have those, um, holiday stamps that I had mentioned to you that are not displayed. So these are put away. This drawer in here, this one has my Maggie Holmes items. So these boxes I got from Home Goods. So it has like my Maggie Holmes items that are kind of just loose. And then I have all my doilies in there. Some paper clips in this one. And this one is kind of just all mixed up. I'll pull it out, but it's just basically all um, summer items. So I'll just give you a peek, but it's not really well organized. At least I know it's just all summer in here. So it's just kind of just stuffed in there. All summer things that have been made for me. So embellishments, etc. That is all in here. And this one also again is from Michaels. And again, it's that really pretty pink love the colors that they come out with for their organization in this drawer here i have all my stickers so there's no real organization except that i knew that they're all stickers i have this sticker book that i got from michaels and then i use this little um this little elastic -y band that my friend aubrey made to keep it closed because it it's it's really chunky here are some like flat back gems all sorts of flat back gems in here and then these ones are ones that didn't fit in this one so that's the photo box that's from michaels got a really good deal on those i think i got them for ten dollars each so let me pull these out so these are ones that didn't fit um this one just has a bunch of like kawaii items valentine's summer and some butterflies and if I pull this box out, again, when it's so easy if you just have everything in boxes and you can just pull them out. So I know all the purples here are Halloween. And then I just basically have it organized by items like that. So I have tags, all my gems, um, some, oh, this is all Christmas. All this is Christmas. This is some more um, journaling cards. And then this is more like little um, magical die cuts. So there's like unicorns and mermaids, etc., in there. So in this drawer here, I have just all sorts of packaging items, stuff that I want to reuse in packaging. I try not to hoard onto everything, but that's basically it. Some manila folders, some foiled like. Um, Mail mailers there you go mailers and this one i don't hardly open but it's just basically um resin and clay making items in here tools for that and that is it for that behemoth of a drawer yep 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 and we'll move on to this section mm -hmm.